Imagine a world without energy worries, no more scrambling for oil, no more coal-powered pollution. Sounds too good to be true, right? But what if we told you scientists are hot on the trail of a revolutionary energy source, one that could change everything? This isn't science fiction, folks, it's the story of thorium, an element found right here on Earth and China's audacious claim of discovering a near-limitless supply. Could this be the answer to our energy prayers? Let's dive in and explore the exciting and sometimes uncertain world of thorium energy. Buckle up, stargazers, because we're about to embark on a journey that could redefine the future of energy as we know it. China, known for its ambitious projects, has dropped a bombshell in the world of energy. Scientists there say they've stumbled upon a massive reserve of thorium, a potential game-changer in the quest for clean energy. This treasure trove isn't hidden in some remote, unexplored corner of the world. It's sitting right in the waste piles of the Bayan Obo mine, already a famous site for rare earth elements. Talk about finding gold in your backyard. Experts like Fan Honghai, a big name in nuclear research, are calling it a potential energy revolution for China, with enough thorium to power the nation for tens of thousands of years. Sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? So what is thorium? And why all the excitement? Thorium is a mildly radioactive element, kind of like its more famous cousin uranium. But here's the kicker. Thorium is much more abundant in nature, and it's considered safer and cleaner to use. Unlike uranium, thorium produces less radioactive waste, the kind that sticks around for centuries. Plus, it's not as easy to weaponize, which is a big plus in today's world. But there's a catch. You can't just chuck thorium into existing nuclear reactors. To unlock thorium's energy potential, you need a special type of reactor called a molten salt reactor, or MSR. Think of it as a high-tech pressure cooker that uses molten salt to sustain the nuclear reaction. Sounds pretty cool, right? Section 4. China's Race to the Future Molten Salt Reactors and Beyond China isn't just sitting on its thorium reserves, they're charging ahead with developing the tech to harness it. They've been testing molten salt reactors since 2021, and have even given the green light to build the world's first thorium-powered power plant in the Gobi Desert. This pilot project is expected to be up and running by 2029, generating enough electricity to power a small city. But China's clean energy ambitions don't stop there. They're also pouring billions into fusion energy, aiming to create an artificial sun that could provide limitless power. China's commitment to thorium and other cutting-edge energy technologies shows they're serious about reducing their reliance on fossil fuels and becoming a global leader in clean energy. Section 5. Tempering Expectations, Challenges on the Path to Thorium Power While the promise of thorium energy is undeniably exciting, it's important to keep our feet firmly planted on the ground. Molten salt reactors, while promising, are still in their experimental stages. We're talking about dealing with extremely hot, corrosive molten salt, which presents some serious engineering challenges. And let's not forget the elephant in the room limitless is a catchy word, but even the most abundant resources on Earth are finite. Extracting and processing thorium will require significant resources and energy, and we need to be mindful of the environmental impact. It's also crucial to remember that energy demand is constantly growing. So, while those 60,000 years of power sound impressive, they're based on a lot of assumptions and projections. There's no quick fix, and it's going to take a global effort to transition to a sustainable energy future. Section 6. The Future of Energy, A Balancing Act So, is China's thorium discovery a game-changer or just hype? The truth, as always, lies somewhere in between. Thorium has the potential to be a valuable part of our clean energy mix, but it's not a silver bullet. We're still in the early stages of this energy revolution, and it's going to require continued research, innovation, and a healthy dose of realism. The future of energy isn't about putting all our eggs in one basket, but rather diversifying our energy portfolio. We need to keep exploring all options, from renewables like solar and wind to next-generation nuclear technologies like thorium and fusion. And most importantly, we need to keep asking questions, challenging assumptions, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. 